Hi, welcome to the New Bucks Head for tonight's crucial match between AFC Telford United and Gateshead. Surely a must-win game for both teams, as Telford looked to break a 23-game run without a league win, while Gateshead themselves will be desperate for the points as they sit just three points above the relegation zone. Let's go and take a look at tonight's team. Well, let's hope they can get that first goal this evening, shall we? The referee for tonight is Brett Huxtable and uh, he's uh, just making sure everybody's uh, ready actually we have a slight delay the Telford goalie Ryan Young is uh, still putting his uh, gloves on but we shouldn't be uh, too far away from the start of this game nine games left to go for Telford in the conference Gates said then get us underway Telford kicking from our left to right and here's uh, Carl Magne making a run down Gates's right wing Telford straight away put on the back foot but Good jostling for position by Simon Ford, the defender. The off. Gates had certainly enjoying most of the early possession. They have another throw, which is going to be taken by Carl Magne, the right back. And now a shooting opportunity may fall here, and a good save for Ryan Young. The shot in the end was from James Brown. The corner then for Gateshead. It will be an outswinger, lofted into the near post, and Simon Ford nearly scores an own goal. And Ryan Young has to tip it over corner towards the back post Curtis heads it to the opposite post Telford get it clear though Craney looks to nod it down to Rooney but Gates said react quicker Turnbull shoots and it's just over As Telford win it back on that left wing with Leslie and he does well gets past Turnbull Leslie goes on a run he's halted but Trainer gets it back switches it to Telford's right to Salmon he's got a bright pair of yellow boots on Flicks in his cross, headed goalwards by Williams, but no power on it. Telford showing signs there of getting uh, an opportunity. Leslie looks up, he's got Craney down the centre. Williams out wide on his left-hand side, and also the left-back Valentine overlapping. He goes for an early ball in towards Jonesvo, falls for Craney on the D. Knocks it back to Rooney. Rooney opens it up here for Valentine, but again, defending is good. Solid there from Gateshead, this time Magne, the right-back. Telford have another throw on that left wing so it's been a good end to this first half from both teams and you can hear from the supporters around us that they get to their feet and they are clapping this Telford team so a goalless first half here at the New Bucks head let's take a look at the second half to see if either team can take the win that they so desperately need and it's nil nil we are underway then second half here on 96 FM back to Valentine Gateshead now breaking with pace down that left hand side Chandler through to Gillies now waiting is Donaldson towards the dead ball line he keeps it in play Salmon for company though Gateshead have it on their left he cuts back inside Donaldson finds Gillies who's got nine league goals back out wide again to Donaldson takes it to a near post and it's straight at Ryan Young well Telford got opened up there we still awaits our first goal here Good play there. Oh, a strong challenge by Williams, who's really gone in hard there on Magne. I think it is a yellow card. Williams got it wrong. And uh, I think they're going to stretch him off here. So Magne, I think, instantly knew that something had gone wrong mm, there. Lucky. I'm wondering whether they've summoned for an ambulance, perhaps, for Carl Magne. I think he will uh, very probably be heading off to the, uh, to the Princess Royal Hospital in Telford shortly. I wouldn't be at all surprised if the ambulance is on his way free kick there low ball in and uh, it should be taken by the Telford keeper Ryan Young but he, he tips it behind it's a corner here for Gateshead it's Josh Gillies who's gone off Gateshead's leading scorer now as Gateshead look to regroup here's Williams to Leslie Telford attacking the goal away to our left hand side round about 28 minutes left to go the score still nil nil here's Leslie overlaps with Valentine Valentine gets a good cross in waiting there was Jones but he's beaten in the air by Curtis on that occasion 21 minutes to go in this game Preston heads it clear again trainer wins it back in midfield but then runs into danger forced to Chandler Chandler plays it out wide to Donaldson with the number 18 on good cross to the far post away by Salmon across his own goal and uh, from this angle it looked very close to being an own goal Williams has got the pace he's past one defender Williams takes it down the right spray waiting for it can Williams find him no he can't he hits it straight to the gate said man it's kicked out of play but Telford have a throw it's nil-nil thrown into play to Leslie 
next to the corner flag. Leslie on his left foot turns inside and out past two defenders. Craney shoots, it's flashed wide from distance. Ian Craney can't hit the target. A throw, a long one towards the near post. Headed by Preston, force for Salmon, Trader, and it's uh, still gone in the air. Trader hits it on the half volley, it struck the defender. On this left edge, diagonal ball in towards the penalty spot. It's not away properly, still inside there. Adagio gets a touch onto it. Rooney! Just over! Nathan Rooney nearly scores a screamer on the half volley, hits it well with the laces on his right foot. It is, it is that time when they should just throw everyone forward. They need a goal, a point's no good. Look at John Pizarus, he's watching on, waving his arms around. Rooney! Tipped over! Oh, it may have just been dipping in from Nathan Rooney. At the other end, hatches through, tackled by Will Salmon. What a challenge that was from Salmon. The referee glances at his watch, it is nil-nil. Headed on by Williams. There we go, full time. It finishes Telford nil, Gates at nil. It may not be enough to keep Telford in the conference. But what it has done is restored a bit of pride amongst these Telford supporters. I'm joined now by new interim manager John Pasaris. John, possibly a disappointing result, but must be pleased with the performance, I guess. Absolutely, you know that, that was the main thing today. That I would have been, you know, really sort of, you know, down it had we we'd lost that game because I thought we've worked really hard. You know, the, the, the main thing for me today was to get those boys working together. And, you know, if they work together, work hard, stay together, then something's going to happen in, in, in that box there. And, you know, OK, unfortunately it didn't happen because of a little bit sort of lacking quality, you know, uh, the movement. Um, but it'll come. I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll come. And looking forward, what, what are you asking the guys to do kind of differently to what's gone on in previous weeks? Um, I want them to enjoy it. Okay, and and I think you'll get enjoyment from working hard in in, in a system where you know you're going to get results from your hard work. Um, you know, a lot of praise. Um, what can I say? A lot of lot, just lots of praise and, and sort of like enthused and and and, and um, you know we brought Meeks in and he sort of brought a, a, some exuberance out as well. So you know, it's, it's, I'm not going to say light-hearted because no, you know, if you're someone on the sideline there, this, if, if if I need to have a go, I'll, I'll I'll have a go. You know, but in the right way because they know their roles and responsibilities. You know, I I, I expect them wherever the ball is on the pitch, I expect them to be in a certain position. Um, if they're not, then I'll I'll tell them if we're on the ball, I want them to make early decisions right decisions you know if they dwell on the ball too much then you know the space gets closed and closed and then they lose it so these are the things I'm sort of trying to instill into them. Fantastic and then just finally you know given the position realistically is it now a case of, of playing almost with nothing to lose or is, is there still kind of a realistic chance of, of avoiding relegation? Well you know you, you, you can lose your dignity and I don't want I don't want the team to lose a dignity that you know so that that's if, if you get your performances right 99% the results will come as well you know, so if, if the results come and, you know, we can get a win next game or the game after, then, you know, and depending on what goes on around you, yeah, there's hope, that, you know, it's not over until it's mathematically impossible. You know, and, you know, even when it's mathematically impossible, I would still expect them to put that work rate in because they're playing for the careers. You know, there might be a, the new manager might be in the stand and think, well, hang on, he's, he's a decent player. I'm going to stay with him next season. So there's a lot to play for still. So a positive response there from new interim manager John Pasaris. Let's see how the team get on next week as they travel away to face Woking.